What should I do about changes to LastPass free? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. A couple of weeks ago, LastPass made an announcement of upcoming changes to the terms of their free offering. In the past, you were restricted to the number of devices, I think it was. But now the change is that you are limited to only a certain class of device. In other words, you can use it on your PCs, laptops, desktops, Mac or PCs, I mean, the, the computers, or mobile devices, your iPhones, your Androids, your tablets, your whatever, but not both with the same account. Whereas today, of course, you can synchronize across both without too much problem using their free version. Needless to say, uh, this has annoyed a few people. And of course, there's tons of articles already having um, been published by other sources recommending that you switch, going to a different tool, doing whatever. Since I've been recommending LastPass for so long, uh, I wanted to go over what I believe your alternatives are, what my recommendation is, and a little bit of a hint of the future. So I want to be clear. I continue to recommend LastPass. It's a good tool. I'm using it right now, and I will continue to use it for the foreseeable future. Needless to say, I'm not using the free edition, so I'm not impacted by either of these changes. If you're currently paying for LastPass, you are not impacted. You're done. Just keep doing what you're doing. It'll be fine. If you are using the free version, but you're only using it on a computer, you're fine. You're not impacted. If you're only using it on mobile, you're fine. You're not impacted. The only time you're going to be impacted is if it's the free version you're using and you're using it both on PCs and mobile devices. So what should you do if you are in that boat? Well, option number one, and honestly, my recommendation is that you upgrade. Password managers, in my opinion, are very much like backup software. They are a critical component of your safety, your security, and your resiliency. They're worth a few bucks. LastPass is worth a few bucks. If you can, if you feel it's appropriate, the easiest solution is to go ahead and upgrade your account and go to a paid version of LastPass. All of the restrictions are removed and you get a few more features at the same time. That's my number one recommendation for you if you can afford it and if you're willing to do it. Recommendation number two, well, switch. I mean, if you need a free solution, then you'll need to find a different free solution if the new restrictions impact you. Now, the one thing I want you to be very careful of when you look at some of the alternatives out there is some of the free alternatives are actually more restrictive than what LastPass is moving to. So make sure you're actually getting more from your new password manager. Uh, for example, Dashlane is one that I've considered uh, in investigating as an alternative to LastPass, just because we would like to have alternatives to LastPass. But their free version is actually somewhat more restrictive. On the other hand, Bitwarden seems to be another good alternative, and their free version may be more comparable and more comfortable, again, if it's important that you stay with a free version. In the article that accompanies this video, I have a link to a PC Magazine article that actually does a compare and contrast across several different free password managers. Any of those would be good choices. You'll notice that Bitwarden shows up fairly high on that list, but have a look at the list. Make sure that the free edition does what you need it to do. And if LastPass doesn't, or if they just pissed you off, which I totally understand, that might be an approach to go. Recommendation number three, live with it. Don't do anything. 
Uh, you may be in this situation where you're only using it on one kind of platform. You may be in a situation where the other platform doesn't matter as much to you and you're willing to restrict yourself to just the PC or just the mobile device. One kind of, I'll call it cumbersome workaround here, is that you could in fact have two free LastPass accounts. One for your PC and desktop computers and one for your mobile devices. It's relatively easy to get that started. You can export your settings from one instance of LastPass to another, but keeping them in sync thereafter, keeping these two separate accounts in sync thereafter, is gonna be a little bit of a problem, but it's a way to get the LastPass free edition on both of these platforms, just not interconnected. One of the things I want to explicitly call out as not a recommendation, and that is to stop using a password manager. It's too important. I would much rather have you choose a different provider that allows you to do the security things a password manager allows you to do, like having long and strong and unique passwords across all of your accounts without having to force yourself to remember anything other than the single password to log into your manager. That's critical. That enables you to do security better. If you don't use a password manager, you will be forced into making compromises that will themselves compromise your security. Don't do that. If you must leave LastPass, do so. If you don't have to leave LastPass, don't. If you are up for giving them some money, upgrade. But the one thing you should not do is stop using a password manager. Hope that was helpful. For any breaking updates, for comments, for related links and more, visit askleo.com slash 130405. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.